Okay, Rabbi said, let's do Basi Lagani. In a perfect world, we finish this in one class. I don't know how realistic it is, but we'll see what we can do. Well, let's, we, we have to set the stage. It, it's a long ice, but it's not that hard. You bathe with shorter, but you bathe with very hard. First of all, the Yisad is that Basi Lagani is a story. It's a story. The story is when the Abishta created the world, the Kavana Sabriya was this world. And therefore, Ikeshchine betachtein im hoise. The Ikeshchine was in this world. And then there was the Avedis, and Ikeshchine left until Meshe Rabbeinu, and Meshe Rabbeinu was the seventh. He brought the Shechine Bagani to the world, and that's the Pshat and the Pasek, Bosi the Gani. The Gani is translated as a, as, a, as, a mikl, as a shelter, but it's called Gani, it's, that it was already his. If the Abishte is coming to the Gan for the first time, it wouldn't be called Bosi the Gani, but Bosi the Gan. Why is he coming Lagani? Because it's Lamokam Shah Ikri Batchila. That's what the Pasik is saying. And the Abishta was here, and Kriya the Abishta left, and then the Abishta came back. I said, Basi Lagani, I was here and I left and I returned. Why? Because Mesh Rabbeinu was the Shvi and he brought the Shekhinah Bagdan into the world. So okay, Ashena Mais, right? Well, all of us understand and know that the Tate is not in the story business. Might the Hava Hava let bygones be bygones. So why is the Tate telling us the story? So the answer, of course, is and there's different Fanim. One oifen is that it has to do with the etamine of Matan Teda. Another oifen is that it has to do with Chata Egel. Whichever, it is different from my modem. Some of my modem say because of Chata Egel. Of my modem say that it's because of uh, the etamine of Matan Teda. Tziaze, Tziaze, Bosi Legani is only the beginning. Why? Because the Abish came back into this world, he was only in the base of Mikdash, which is a small house on top of a mountain without any neighbors. And the kavana is the asul in mikdash v'shachanti b'soy chom b'toy kol echad v'echad mi Yisrael. The Ebrister wants to dwell amongst all Jewish people, and therefore, Bosi Legani is not only a story. It's not only a story. Why is it not only a story? Because the Ebrister is coming back and being in the base of mikdash is a beginning, and the kavana is that you have to make the whole world into a mishkan of mikdash le'is barach, and that's the maimer. The Maimir is saying that Bosi Lagan is the beginning. The Abish moved into his house and the avoid of Yidness to make the whole world, to make each one of our homes into a Mishkan. And the Mikdash Lay is Barech through the avoid of building a base on Mikdash. And therefore, Bosi Lagani becomes an instruction. It's not just a story, it's a Hira. The Hira is that we have to build a base on Mikdash. We have to make our home, our Dalar Amis, our space into a Mishkan of Mikdash Lay is Barech. And the question is how? And the answer in a sentence. We make this world a mishkan u mikdash layis barech, not by living a life of isolation and separa- separateness, but by struggling. Iskafi of ishapcha makes this world a mishkan u mikdash layis barech, right? That's the mind. You got to struggle. You got to struggle, right? Yeah. Chagetz my an opinion court, someone looking at Aiden. It is a telta sachmol. As I yid the the hilk of a zitzi brav gata a talmid. When I get out of man, when I buy madrega, when I get out of man, very poor. And he, a whole year he suffered with Parnassah. So he came to the Badditch of Erov and he said to him, Rebbe, you, Shetach and the Gemara, as a Mithenes of Shaladim, Ksumalim, Mirash Hashanah. So if the Abishtu will give me the beginning of the year, we're going to have for a whole year, even if he gives me less, I won't worry. I'll parcel it out, I'll figure it out. So I'll be able to learn in Dav But the idea that I don't know my Parnassah drives me crazy. So the Badditch of answered, then Pinya Fakzam Tapoidish accent. That was the word. Yeah, you're Yigia, you're Tirche, you're Toil, you're Tirde. Matanish is probably Tirde. Bdichavarov answered. Here's the Bdichavarov. Pinyakov did. Pinyakov couldn't lie. Couldn't lie. Couldn't lie. Pinyakov couldn't lie. Did you get it? Maybe someone lied to him, but he certainly didn't lie. Anyway, so it's called Skafi Vesapch. So Basi Lagani is not just a story to you know. Then the Rebbe gave three examples of Basi Lagani. For, 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 three examples. In the Maimed, the Seder is example number one is Karbanas. Example number two is taking Shtuz Dul Umaz and making it into Shtuz de Kedusha. And example number three is taking the Sheker of El and transforming it into Keresh and to a Kesher. Lay is butter. Right? How to say that is? Pedic base is carbonus, 
Gimel dal den hey is mehapach shtutel umad the shtutel kedusha and vav zayin ches and tes is to be mehapach or vav zayin ches is mehapach shekin into kedusha and into kedusha. In the maimer of chav gimel from this year, the Rebbe flips it around. First he speaks about shtus, then he speaks about shekin, and then he speaks about karbanos, and it makes sense why. First you build the base of mikdash, and then you do the work inside of it. The say that the maimer is karbanos. Shittim is making the Krashim. And Shekhar, they have to make the Krashim. So the Friedrich Rebbe first speaks about Karbanis, which is what you can do once the base of Mikdash is built. And then he talks about the process of building the bias itself. In this year, when the Rebbe does the Hakdama, he flips it around. If they make Shekhar, Ishtus, the Luma, the Shus, the Gedush, Shekhar, and the Kedesh, and that's the Makar of Karbanis. And Makar of Karbanis, of course, means like the Minah Behema, and so on and so forth. That's the avoid. Okay, so Basti Lagani is a story. Basti Lagani is a hero. The hero is we have to extend the base of Mikdash to the whole world. We do our day's kafi of his hapcha, and there's three mishon of his kafi of his hapcha, karbonus, shtus, and shem. That's a half a mind. What's next? What's next? Who does it? Who does it? And of course, the answer is that it's done by the Tivas Hashem. It's done by the Tivas Hashem, right? Tivas Hashem. And the Rebbe has a whole arich as what Tivas Hashem means. But he he's develops it very nicely. There's a king, there are officers, and there's a foot soldier. And the king is very important, the, foot sol- the officers are very important. But the war is fought and won not by the king and not by the generals, by the foot soldiers. And everything serves the purpose of the common foot soldier. That's the way this game plays out. It has to do with the foot soldier. Then the Rebbe develops it. And he says, there's two kinds of mulcham. There's a mulcham alishlo shol of love is vays, which means to... To, to conquer, to acquire wealth. And then something called Muhammad's Nitzach. Muhammad's Nitzach means a, more, a war that you must win. And the reason you must win it, because if you lose it, you don't exist anymore. Yeah. The Rebbe says in the Maimon of last year that the criteria, over two years ago, the criteria for Muhammad's Nitzach is that you have to do exactly what the king says. You cannot deviate from the king's instructions or key who's there. So the Rebbe says, if you're fighting a Muhammad's a mechemes lishlo shal v'shavaz voiz is a cheshbin. How much is going to cost in treasure and in lives and in disruption? And how much is the return going to be? You have to calculate if it's worth it. Push it. But then you have mechemes nitzachin. And mechemes nitzachin, there's no such thing as a limit. There's no such thing as a limit. If, if, if losing means disappearing, the, the alternative to winning is, is, is not being bimitiyas. You have no choice but to fight the war, Right? And he gave three illustrations, three examples of what happens in Muhammad's Nitzach. Number one, the Melech is Mevaz base, called the Eitz Reitz, Sha'atzer, Avesa, Avesa, Avesa. The king has treasure. And this treasure is so precious that not only they don't use it, they don't even show it to people. When you have a Muhammad of Nitzach, the king takes out this treasure. Not only he shows it, he uses it. And he doesn't use it efficiently. He uses it in front of Bisbus. He splurges it. He, he dispenses of that wealth recklessly. In other words, he gets 50% of the dollar, 70% of the dollar, B, to be able to have the resources needed to fight the war. Bisbus hates us. Number two. Number two. He's machnes, atzmei, betachsisei, mochomer. The king doesn't trust anybody. He personally engages in the war. And for Allah Zechna Shafkein, but just as generals, the person gets involved. And you think about the Rebbe and the Friedrich Rebbe, you understand exactly what that means. That they're involved in the nitty gritty. Machnes Atmut Asisi Mocham. Number three, Mashta Chayim Negri. The king throws away his life. Avaf the Begin Omlev. The Rebbe said in Yudalif, Dos is Mashin Echad Adorach Yegangin. Tafshi Yudalif, Tafshi Yud. But it's Durgang Nim for Mashta Chayim Negri. In the Maimir of Chav Gimel, the Rebbe changes. He doesn't say Masha Chai Mineg, the Rebbe says Machnas Asma Besakona. He changes. The Friedrich Rebbe's mind is Masha Chai Mineg. So when you have a war, and it's a Mohammed Nitzachan, the war must be won because it's life and death, Mamish. So the king gets involved in the Atris. The king gets involved in the Chtisya Mohammed himself, doesn't trust any of his generals, and he throws away his life. Masha Chai Mineg. Okay, why? You have to win the war. So when the Maimer, the Rebbe says, so when you have a Mechemes Nitzachin, there are three big things that happen, right? When you're fighting a war, Mechemes Nitzachin, there are three big things that happen. The first of the three things that happens is that the king is Mevadim Kolaitzis. 
the Rebbe chooses, the Friedrich Rebbe chooses, the Indian of Machlis Atme with Achsisi Muhammad is very bekitzer. The Indian of Master Chayyim Meneged is certainly bekitzer. But Perik at base begins with the word Lahov and Inyan Ha'etzel Lamaila. Of the three things that Friedrich Rebbe brings in the Maimed, the Rebbe says in Perik at base, last year's Perik, Lahov and Inyan Ha'etzel Lamaila. What does it mean, the supernal treasure? That the king is Mavaz base, that he gives away with a recklessness to be able to win the war. Okay? And in order to answer this question, the Rebbe quotes the Tikkun And the Tikkun says, Ain't safe, Lamaila, Adain Kain, Shalomata, Adain Tachat. Now you must understand the deal. Ain't safe is one thing. Ain't safe is not something with two parts, a right hand and a left hand. Ain't safe is one thing. And ain't safe is not the Eibishter, because the Eibishter is not ain't safe, the Eibishter is ain't chila. Ain't safe is Eibishter linis. Ain't safe is alukus, it's not alakah. Okay? And ain't safe has two characteristics. In other words, even though ain't safe is one thing, and every nekudah of ain't safe is ain't safe, each nekudah of ain't safe has two properties. The two properties are Lamaila Den Kates. Lamaila Den Kates basically means, and basically is a big bad word. Nobody has any idea what it is. Lamata Den Tachlis means that everybody can see it. And it's not the Pshat, half of the ain't safe is Lamaila Den Kates. No one knows what it is. And half of the ain't safe is Lamaila No, the Zelba ain't safe. There's only one ain't safe. And every creation, from the highest to the lowest, Mitzad Echad has no idea what Ain Seif is, and Mitzad Hashanah, there's no way to deny Ain Seif. And Bari knows the perfect marshal for that. Chassidus. Who doesn't know what Chassidus is? And who knows what Chassidus is? Kenev Eisnish. Ada Yemezeh. Chassidus is almost 300 years old, no one knows what it is. But everybody knows what it does. It's a perfect marshal for this. But the Rebbe brings it to Kunezeyar, Ain Seif, Lamayla, Adin Ketam, Adin Tachlis, which means basically... The Mitzad Echad ain't safe is not known by anybody, or Mitzad Hashem ain't safe is revealed to everybody. Then the Rebbe says, let's explain each one of these two ideas separately. Ain't safe, Lamatha, and Tachas is going to be explained first. Pedic and Beis, Yud Gimel, Yud Dalet. It's really Yud Gimel, Yud Dalet. The Rebbe says it's Yud Beis also. And then Lamai La, then Tachas says Pedic as Vov. That's how this works. That's how the Hemshech works, okay? So even though the quote is ain't safe lamayla den kates and afterwards lamata den tachlis, when the Friedrich the Rebbe explains it, explains first lamata den tachlis and then lamayla den kates. And the Rebbe says in the Maimon Chogimel, why? The Rebbe says the reason he explains first lamata den tachlis and lamayla den kates because oitzed is going to be lamayla den kates. The Abishta's treasure is the second half ain't safe lamayla den kates. So he's building you up to it. First he explains to you a lower Indian, lamata den tachlis. And after explains to you the lower Indian, then explains to you the higher Indian, which is Lamayla, then Kate, which is the Indian of Eitz. Okay? So this is where we're holding. To repeat what I just said in a sentence, Bostel Lagani has two messages. Number one, you got to build the base of Mikdash, Number two, the building is built to the Tzivis Hashem. But in order for them to do it, they give them Eitzis, Eitz and Elyon. To explain what the Eitz and Elyon is, we explain Lamayla Adin ain't safe. Lamayla Adin case. Lamata Adin tachas, and we begin with Lamata Adin tachas. Our Rebbe holds the Rebbe Zogazuzan holds that Pedikid Beis is also explaining it as Lamata Adin tachas, even though the Pasha says it's not. Why? Because in Pedikid Beis, the Rebbe spoke about Yeshmayayin. The Savas Yeshmayayin, and the day the Yeshmayayin comes from Atzmos, all that fancy exotic stuff. So the Rebbe said, Pedic Yud is explaining Lamata Dein Tachlis in the aspect of his Havas. So the Rebbe says, Yesh creates this word, Yesh it's a safe Lamata Dein Tachlis in his Havas. And Pedic Yud Gimel starts, a safe Lamata Dein Tachlis, not in creation, but once the world is created, the Rebbe to reveals godliness into the world. Again, the Rebbe says that Pedic Yud is already explaining a safe Lamata Dein Tachlis in the aspect of creation, that's Yesh this pedic, your gimel and your dalid, are explaining it. So that once the world exists, you bring godly light into the existent world, lamata adain tachlis, and that's the pshat they say lamata. In other words, the ain't safe lamata adain of creation, and the ain't safe lamata adain tachlis of revealing godliness in the world. Okay? This is the review. We're up to date. We're holding pedic, your gimel. Okay? I want to say one more And that is that pedic, your gimel ends on a depressing note. The reason Pedic Yud Gimel ends on a depressing note is because he ends in the middle of a conversation. What does the Rebbe want to explain? That there's such a thing called the Mata Ben Tachlis, worlds that are so low 
that their Mitzias and their Yesh and their Klippa and their anti God and their all kinds of Adrei Nishan. And then he's going to explain that even if you would meet the lowest Klippa, you would see Hashem revealed. Reach that even in the lowest klipa, not only is the Abish the found in the lowest klipa, he's found the lowest klipa. The two words that ever uses, beginning his pashtus v'gilui. What the pare? Who says you ever leave? And he has his sini. The mitzvah echad. He's anti Abish there. The mitzvah asheni. Even in pare, there's a gilui of elokus of einsim. That's how it ends. That's a pedikidal is going to end. You're dalit. Tesvav is going to be in safe for the Maila Adin Tachlis. You'd give him a million dollars to explain it. So, you have two points. Number one, how low is low? And number two, that even the lowest of low, Godness is revealed. The number two is next year. So, you walk away from the Maimon with how low is low. But he doesn't tell you the Gilui in this Pedic. He's going to tell you the Gilui in the next Pedic. You know what I'm saying? When, when, you, when I prepared the Shir, I, I taught this Shir, Chal Gimel. So I, I, I said in my introduction, you learn the Maimon, you walk away with Lava. Uh, the Rebbe tries to fix it. At the very end of the Maimon of Chal Gimel, the Rebbe says, Oh, by the way, next year we're going to learn that even in Pare there's Gilui Alakus. But that's how this works. He wants to explain to us, Tachin Shen Tach Lamate Emenu. And tach and tach lamata imenu means pare, a klipa which is not just forgetting about the abishta, but he's fighting against the abishta. And next year he's going to say that even by pare, not only is the abishta found, the abishta is found by gilui. And that's the type ain't safe lamata dein tachlis that in the lowest, the darkest place, godness is present and godness is revealed in a way which is called dispatches and gilui. This is the direction. But the freilicha part of it is that the abishta is visible everywhere is going to be next year. This Patek finishes off by saying the Abish prayed made some pretty junky junk. <laughs> he created some pretty low clippers. That's how the Patek finishes. Okay? Questions or comments? This man can finish off saying how because even in that, he's just going to discuss the Patek. He's just going to talk about the, right. And if you look in the Maimon of the Rebbe, if you have the Chav Gimel, so Patek, Patek, Ches, he says, Huh? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is it? 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 So the Rebbe finishes off the Maima by saying, don't stop in the middle. Next year we're going to talk about Gilui. The reason the Rebbe does this is I mean, I don't know the Amek, because the Maima finishes on a, on a dark note. The Maima finishes in Chayshik. You understand? So here we go. We're going to learn this Patek. And Bekitz and Nimrod, Rabbi Yisai, this Patek has one message. The Abish that knows how to create low stuff. <laughs> the Abish that is in a position to create Lamata Adein Tachlis. Okay, so Rabbi Yisai, again, this Patek, this Patek is going to explain that the Abish that creates low, lower, and lower. That's what I mean. That's the Patek that is going to explain that the Abish that creates low, lower, and lower. Okay, so let's go. Vehine, Pedic Yudgimel, please. Ma She'emer, that when it says in the Tikkun Ezeir, that one of the characteristics of Ein Seif is Lamata Adein Tachlis, descends low beyond the hand, Taiches the Rebbe Koi, this means Al Gilui Vehais Pashtas, that in the lowest and the darkest place, Godliness is revealed and manifest. In other words, this indicates, this shows, it's the notion of, of radiating out to Bebchinas ain't safe of Alkus because it's the ain't sheer, has no measure, no limit. It's infinite mamish, it comes to the lowest levels, 
be madreges ay yisa achreines ve estachteines the lowest levels, the last levels and the lowest levels. Ve zehu this is the pshat. It ain't safe lamata adain tachlis the meaning of these words. It ain't safe lamata adain tachlis is that if you went to the maximum clipper, you would find his pashtos ha'ed that there's a radiation and a revelation of light. Bebchinus ain't safe for bleak vol cloud without any limit whatsoever, because it's ad madrega yeshe mata mata to the level which is the lowest of the low. Ain't safe for mata dein takas means no matter where you'll go, you'll find godliness, and you'll find godliness in a revealed way. That's the chedesh of the find God's in a revealed way. Derech Agav, I learned a different maimed, where the Rebbe discusses, uh, could be this maimed also, the idea of mata dein takas. And the Rebbe says the infinity of Hashem is not that an Elam is ain't safe, he reveals ain't safe. You'll see it in a moment inside, because Elam is ain't safe and made for ain't safe. The infinity of the Abish that is measured far more by places which are completely incompatible and inconsistent and opposite of what ain't safe is, and nevertheless over there not only is ain't safe present, but ain't safe is actually revealed. The Rebbe is going to argue in next year's Maimed that if you would meet Padim Ahmed Saim, you'll see even by him there's Gile Yalakos and his Pashas Lodas. And he begins the Hine. There's Elam, I say, ain't safe. There's worlds that are ain't safe, which are higher than the Tzimtz. And then there's Elam Atilas, the world of Atilas. Now, what's a difference between Elam, I say, ain't safe and Atilas? Anybody know? Elam, I say, ain't safe, have ain't safe. But the Kalim are bottled. Olam HaTzilus has Ein Seif. But in Olam HaTzilus, the Ein Seif is Giloi to Kalim. Is revealed to Kalim. In Olam HaTzilus, Ein Seif, the light is so strong that the Kalim are basically not there. In Olam HaTzilus, the aid is revealed in the Kalim. So now, if you compare higher than HaTzilus to HaTzilus, you could say that maybe HaTzilus is already Lamata Din Tachlis. So the Rebbe says like this, the beginning of... Before Atzilus, there's no Kalim in the way of Zulas. For Kalim to be a Kalim, has to be separate from Oed, and the Oed is made in the Kalim, and the Kalim holds the Oed. Lifnei Atzilus, there's Kalim, but the Oed is made in the Kalim in such a way that the Kalim becomes Ois Metzius. Elam Atzilus is Gile, right. Higher than Atzilus is that. So let's read it inside. The Hine, Elam is saying, Seif, Shlefne, Atzim, Tzum, the Elakus, which is an Elam, it's Eif, which is before Atzim, Tzum. And Elam, Atzilos, and the Elakus, which is an Atzilos, says the Rebbe, the Sham, that in those worlds, Bechlau, May, it ain't safe, Begiloi, godliness is radiating and shining in a revealed way. So the Rebbe says, that's not a Kuntz. It's not a big deal that you have Elam is saying, Seif. It's not a big deal that you have Elam Atzilus where the Kus is Mechinas Gile. Why not? Because Arei Heim Kalim, the Eid ain't safe. Because worlds that are ain't safe are Kalim for ain't safe. You know why Atzilus works? Atzilus doesn't only work because the Eid is diminished. The Eid goes into the Kalim of Atzilus is diminished. Atzilus works because the Kalim of Atzilus are both. The Kalim of Atzilus are also with the Kus. And therefore, when the aid of Atilas is made, and the Kalim of Atilas, in their way, they sort of get along, so to speak. Yes, because the Gamma Kalim, because in Atilas, even the Kalim, Hayim Elokus Mamish, the Mamish Elokus. So the Rebbe Ayat says, In Cain, therefore, Ain Pelaklal. You should not at all be surprised and in a state of wonderment, the aid ain't safe at the level of godliness, which is in the Madregas of Elam, it's safe, Stephanie Atzimtsu. And the Madrig of Elam Atzilus is made, Shambagili is revealed there. V'chein, and just like you shouldn't be surprised by the fact that Godness is not revealed there, you shouldn't be surprised. Mashaheim Yechayel Mekabo there in Sefer Gil. They're able to receive. You know, in the Rebbe's Maim Echov Gimel, the Rebbe says these two things. It says Pashtus and Gilui. The first thing is, Ein Pella Cloud, the Eid, Ein Sefer Mesh Shambagil, that's called his Pashtus. And v'chein ein pele mashem yecheilu mekabel and say v'giloi, that's giloi. So the Rebbe Ayatz is saying, the beginning of say the reshtalshos elamas of ein seif shall hide in atzilus. The beginning of say the shtalshos elamas atzilus. And the truth is, in some contexts, you could call it lamata dein tachlis, but it's not a pele 
that ain't safe as mayan in those words. So those words are Caleb Falakus. Now again, if you learned the Maimon of Gimel, you know that the Rebbe has a struggle. The Rebbe's Augustus and our Rebbe develops a struggle. It's based on the Maimon of the Tatus and the Fidi Karabim, but develops a certain struggle. And the struggle is how do we understand that Silas? Katilus is in between. Hard Natilus ain't safe. Lower than Natilus is Nivra. Atilus is Gili of ain't safe. And the Rebbe the, presents, he brings out, of Shetzach, Mother My Modem, the idea that Lagabi ain't safe shall snay ha Atilus. Atilus is considered Tachtin. Lagabi Elam is Bia. Atilus is considered alien. So the Rebbe develops a, a discourse to help us understand this notion that Atzilus is in between. It's halfway. It's halfway between being Elam as Ein Seif and halfway between Bia. I got into Pilpul. So Mom, she's a whole Pilpul. I guess the Nukutas of Pilpul of the Bashem Tev says, the desire says there's three worlds. Bashem Tev says there's three worlds. Tlas Almen. What are the Tlas Almen? The Tlas Almen are, so the Mekobalim have all kinds of fancy ways of saying it. The Vashem says the Pasha, the three worlds are Nivrayim, Malachim, Nishamis, and Elikus. The three worlds are Malachim, Nishamis, and Elikus. So it starts a whole pilpul. How do we understand Nishamis? Elikus is obviously good, right? Malachim is obviously Nivrayim. What about Nishamis? Are the Shamas on this side of the fence or the Shamas this side of the fence? And without giving you the whole pilpul, basically the answer is the Shamas are a little bit like this and a little bit like this. The Shamas are sometimes considered a lakus, and the Shamas are sometimes considered nivra. And the Rebbe is sort of saying, and I'm, I'm, I'm putting it in my own words, but this is what the Rebbe is sort of saying, that when you understand that the Shamas could sometimes be considered a lakus and sometimes be considered nivra, you understand what Atsilas is. Because Atsilas is higher than a Nishama, but Atsilas is in some ways a Lakus, and Atsilas in some other ways is a Nivra. So understanding Atsilas, understanding what the, the idea of the Nishama being in the middle, helps you understand what it means Atsilas. But okay, so, and bottom line is Azoi. The Rebbe talks about El Masei Yitzhak Shlifnei Atsilas. He talks about Atsilas, and he makes it clear that Atsilas is halfway between a Lakus and Nivrayim, but it's still a Lakus. And because Atsilas is still a Lakus, you cannot say that it's a big deal in safe Lamata Dein Tachas that is shining into Atzilus. That's the word. As the Fidik Rabbi is saying. It's not saying that by Nisham is also an Ein Pella, the same way he's saying regarding Atzilus, right? As he's, he's using that comparison to the I really, really use my own words. You have to listen to my Shia to understand why I said it. Nisham is in, the, in this Pedic, there's two Shitas in Kabbalah. One sheet in Kabbalah is from the from the Mikdash Melech that 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 these three worlds were Atzilus Bri Yitzira. If Atzilus Bri Yitzira, the Shamas are Bri. The second Eifin is the Yudah of Gimel Maimer is the Ramaz, and the Ramaz holds it's Ak Atzilus Bia. So the Baal says the three worlds are Elokus, the Shamas, Malachim. There's a machlekes amongst mukubalim what neshamis are. One mukubal says neshamis are atzilus, the other mukubal says neshamis are briya. The combination of those two explains to you atzilus, because atzilus is nivra and atzilus is lakus. That means atzilus is lakus, but the neshama is nivra and lakus. It helps present the idea that in a very real way atzilus is in between. What did you say? He brings the Tzayr and Shem Shlishim. Where's the Tzayr go? We're talking about Shem Shlishim. He, he, he doesn't talk about the Tzayr. The Maimah is called Tzayr. That's it. Why is the Tzayr left out? Is it something you can hide in the Tzayr? No, because the Maimah starts with the word Tzayr. Okay, so we're just, it's Tzayr. He just talks about the Tzayr and Shem Shlishim, which is a little bit of an unusual form. It's Tzayr and Magid, I think. Or Basham Tev. Because then he brings right the classic stories as the Tzayr. Yeah. Normal to my mother, they're being class almond. Three worlds. And he says that the three worlds are either Akatzilus and Bia or Atzilus Bri and And it all plays into this idea that he's trying to explain that Atzilus is halfway between Elokus and Elamis. Nevertheless, Atzilus is still Elokus. So getting to the point, if the Rebbe Ayatz wants to explain, that it's a Chiddush, 
that godliness is revealed in the lowest worlds, revealing godliness. And Atzilus is not Lamata Adein Tachas. That's his point. And we continue to read the text. Rabbi Isai. Page with Chas. Pardon me? Avo. If you look on the margin, where it says Tovshin Chav Gimel Siv Gimel, on the margin I wrote each piece of Maimer, which page it gets explained in. Log the Rebbe Avo, however, Elam is Biaha. The worlds that are lower than Atzilus, they're the beginning of what you could call Lamata de Tachlis. Hare Yemechinis Mata, they're less than Kalim de Atzilus, the vessels of Atzilus. The Mata. Why? Because Kalim de Atzilus, the vessels of Atzilus, have you go for the Nishmasa like a body to a soul. Mashain Kim Bia, as opposed to the lower three worlds. Bria, Yitzir Asiyah, and Bemechinis Lavush, the concept of garments. Now, this is Tanya Takia. Tanya chapter 23. What is the difference between the relationship between your soul and your body and your shirt and your body? What's the difference between the connection? Your body is a lavush to your neshama. Your shirt is a lavush to your goof. Is it the same or not? So it's called lavush hamayuchad. The neshama and the goof is lavush hamayuchad. And the clothing we wear is called lavush hanifrad. What's the difference? Clothing you can take off and put on different ones. You can wash them, you can clean them, you can throw them away, you can get a different size, right? Your goof... You cannot remove. So the goof is a lavush to the neshama. Your shirt is a lavush to your goof. But they're very different kinds of lavush. The way the goof is a lavush for the neshama is, is irreplaceable. It's how it is. The way your shirt is a lavush for your goof is replaceable. So there says, Atzilos in relation with ain't safe is like a goof to a neshama. Bria compared to the ain't safe is like a shirt compared to the neshama. That's very easily replaced. So even though Bia also is Levushim for Ein Seif, but the way Bia is Levushim for Ein Seif, it's not Levushim Yuchad, it's not one with the Ein Seif, like the goof is one with the Neshama, which is how Watsilis is. So because once you're talking Bia, now you could already say Lamata Adin Tachlis. That's the word of the Rebbe. Once you're talking Bia, you could already say Lamata Adin Tachlis. Okay, Mevuar. Bepasach el like it says in the Siddur, which we say Friday afternoon, quote, Kama levush and tekina slain. The Ebrei created atzilus, and atzilus is called gufa. And then it says around atzilus, the Ebrei they made garments, the koi al bia, that the 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 levushin. I'm on page yud ches. I'm about ten lines from the bottom, beginning of the line. Page yud ches. Okay, that it's going on briyat zir and asiya. Shehimirak levushin belvad. They're only garments leir to the light of our kelim atzilus, the vessels of atzilus. The vessels of Atsilos are like goof to Neshama. They're one with the Indian say like a body is one with the Neshama. The vessels of Bria are like a shirt that are very easily replaceable. So therefore, Bia is not Me'uchar with Elokus, it's Nifit Melokus. Says the Heilik Erebe, Shem Yuchin is goof, okay, now the vessels of Atsilos are a goof. Ha-Mislav, Mashiach in the vessels of Bria is a lavush. So Atsilos is so close to the Ein Seif that the Gilead of Ein Seif and Kelm Atsilos is Ein Zepele. But Bia, is further from the Ain Safe. And therefore the idea that Ain Safe is Mislabish and Bria, that's already a Pella with the idea of Ain Safe Lamata Dain Tachlis. That's the that's what the Rebbe is teaching us. Okay? Or Kamaimer, and he quotes a Tkunizeyar, Aima Ilom Kamla Bukrasaya. Bina of Atsilas lives in Bria. The Aim Eloy Bakir is Bina Datilas, Aimal Bina Vatilas. Harayama Kana Bukrasaya it less in the Kisya Kal which is Ilma Kisya which is Ilma Bria. And then it says, Shit Sfiran be Yitzira, the six Sfiras are in Yitzira, the Eifen, which goes on Malchus, like the Eifanim and the Chayis HaKedish, is Ba'asiyah. And the Rebbe has a very interesting diok. Why does the Friedrich ever bring this? Why does the Friedrich ever bring this to Kun to say that in Seif Lamata Adain Tachlis begins with Bria and he brings this Piskum from the Kun You say from Bria you already have Lamata Adain Tachlis because it's only a Lavush. So the Rebbe is like Valdek there's two ways of understanding Briyatir Nasiya. One way of understanding Briyatir Nasiya means Eidel Kiyav Atzilus goes into Briyat. And it's, it's Briyat sized, right? Then the Eidel Kiyav Briyat goes into Yitzira. And it's Yitzira sized. <coughs> then the Eidel Kiyav goes into Yitzira, goes into Asiya, becomes Asiya sized, right? Meaning Yitzira gets only from Briyat, not from Atzilus. And Asiya gets only from Yitzira, not from Briyat. So if you go in that model, where is Ain Seif? Ain Seif is in Atsilis, right? 
It shines into Bria. But when Bria goes to Yitzira, it's not ain't safe, it's the Bria. When Yitzira goes into Asiya, it's not ain't safe, it's the light of Yitzira. So if you say that the way the Ishtashos works is the light of Atzira goes into Bria, and then the light from Bria goes into Yitzira, and light to Asiya, ain't safe ends in Bria. But what does this Tukun say? Bina of Atzilus is in Bria, Midas of Atzilus is in Yitzira, Malchus of Atzilus is in Yitzira, because he wants to show you, ain't safe Lamata, ain't Tachlus, doesn't mean Bria, means Atzir. So the Friedrich Rebbe adds this second Tukun What you have from this Tukun is, you shouldn't think that ain't safe goes into Bria, and what Bria gives to Yitzira is not ain't safe, but rather that ain't safe goes till Atzir, because Atzilus. Bina of Atzilus is in Bria, Midas of Atzilus is in Yitzira, Malchah of Atzilus is in Asiya, so Lamata Adain Tachlis means Til Asiya. That's how the Rebbe explains these two lines from the three Rikh Rebbe's Maimu. It says the Rebbe Dolchein Nikrabya, the three worlds of Bria, Yitzira, and Asiya are called Mata, Legabi Atzilus, Vishem Rak Levushim and Atzilus. Their relationship with Atzilus is like a garment. The, the fancy wa- le- wording is this Levush HaMeyuchad and Levush HaNifrat. Levush HaMeyuchad is like a goof. Levush HaNifrat is like a shirt. The way you explain that in Avoid would be as follows. Say, for example, you have an inspiration. Yeah? Say, for example, you have an inspiration. Your subconscious gives you a brilliant chap. A new idea emerges from your subconscious to your conscious. Let's say that happens. When that idea emerges from your subconscious to your conscious, it comes out in a certain set of words. And if you have seichel, you write them down. If you have seichel, you repeat them. Yeah. It, your neshama gave you an inspiration. The inspiration the neshama gave you came out in certain words. Yeah. Then you go to your chaver, chveisvas, and you repeat the words. And your chaver says to you, would you mind if I say it over to you in different words? You want to kill the guy. But you're not going to do that, right? You're a nice guy. You're open-minded. Yeah. Say, sure, go ahead. He says it in different words. And it's not bad. But it's not what you said. Why? Because your words came from your nefesh. His words came from your words. It's called in Hasidus Tselem and Mus. Tselem is called a tzura atzmis, a form that comes out of the neshama direct. So even though it's coming out into a state of gilui and it's words, but because it's the first inspiration, those words are reflecting essence. You need to say the way you're saying it is connected to your subconscious in such a way you don't even fully understand why you're using these words, but you just know these words are the right way to say it. When the other guy says it in different words, it's called dmus. Tsura mi tsura. Words on top of words. The second layer of words never have the same degree of exactitude as the first. They can't. Because they're representing the words of the first, not the light of the first. And that's the difference between guf and levush. Atzil says Kalim. They're a goof or ain't safe. They're representing safe in a perfect way. It's like the first time the idea emerges in the conscious of the consciousness, the words that you choose are perfect. Bria is saying what Atzil says, in other words. But the in other words of Bria is not reflecting the oil of Atzilus, it's reflecting the Kalim of Atzilus. That's called Lavush. So Atzilus is a goof to a Neshama. Bria is a Lavush to a goof. So the Rebbe says, Bria is Nifred. Bria is mato, because even though Bria is conducting a lakus, it's conducting a lakus with a secondary garment. A secondary garment is not a good conductor of the lakus. It's telem. It's on a shear. Sometimes telem is higher than atzilus. It depends on which maimed. But yes, one of the ways they explain telem and the most is atzilus and bia. Yes. Who gives his mashal? Nefesh be dibur and dibur dibur telem. This the Rebbe says this. No, no, this is an Aimeis. This is not an Aimeis. No, no, no. The Rebbe just says Goof and Lavush. In Aimeis, as a dogma, yeah? Aimeis is a dogma to understand. The Rebbe speaks about it a lot. There's a Aimeis from the Rebbe. Yeah, specifically, not for Yeah. Beklolos is Biyah. Correct. Yeah, correct. Right. Yeah. Yes. The Rebbe continues. The Rebbe is saying it here that it's that, that the Lukos is going even into that Dibush and the Dibush. B'derech Lavush. And because it's Bederach Levush, it's not a perfect keli for the Lekos. And therefore, the, when the Lekos reaches that Madrege, you could legitimately call it Lamata Adein Tachlis. The Rebbe said before, 
six lines into the Maimed. Ain't Pella, that al is in Atsilus, but it's Yesh Pella, that al is in Bria. Because Bria is only a Levosh, it's not a Guf. That's the structure. But you were just saying before, the reason why he brings down the Kemaimer was in order to tell you that it's not just that the is going to the Bria and then the Bria is going to the Bria. Okay, but see, see, you have to understand something. There's two things here. There's Lamata de Intachlis, and there's Ain't Safe Lamata de Intachlis. Ain't Safe Lamata de Intachlis is next year. This Maimer is Lamata de Intachlis. You're right, we're headed to that. But the while we're talking about the idea of the Mata and Tachas, uh, Hashem created worlds that are not good conductors of godliness. The focus is on the chis- This Padic is telling you how bad it is. Next Padic is going to tell you how good it is. So this Padic is focusing on the Lamata Adin Tachlis. Next he's focusing on the safe Lamata Adin Tachlis. Okay, so your point is well taken, but that's not what this Maimon is doing. Okay? And then he continues. Five lines from the bottom of page Yudches. When it comes to the worlds of Bietzir Nasiya, where you say that the Kalim are not like a goof, they're like a Levush, he says these words, that an Elim is Bietzir Nasiya from these world souls fly for men, for people. That in the Rebbe's Maimed, the Rebbe brings in the Baal Shem Tev, that the middle Madreg is Nishomis. And the Shomas could be Atzilis, right? Which is a contradiction that we just read over here. Here, the Fidik Rebbe says, Roiv Neshames. Neshames are in Bria. The Hine, four lines from the bottom of the page. Roiv Neshames. The majority of Neshames. And by the way, that could be the answer to the Stira, that in Atzilis you have Mead Neshames. And the Bria is Rev Neshames. Hey, Neshames, the Biyad, they're only in the lower three worlds of Bria, Tzir, Nasir. Listen to this. The Friedrich Rebbe says one regeneration and earlier generations. Heim the Shamas, the Atsilos, the Neshamas of Atsilos. Avoreva Neshamas. So if you read this Maimah for face value, what is the Friedrich Rebbe saying? That there used to be Neshamas, the Atsilos, many generations ago. And even then, it was only Chad, Bedara, Bedara, Sari, Shainim. Correct? Because the Rebbe says, Chad, Bedara, Bedara, Sari, Now watch how our Rebbe is loyal to the words of his father-in-law, okay? I want to I wanna read you what the Rebbe does with this. It, if you have the pamphlet, it's page 10, at the bottom, it says like this. So the see, four lines in the bottom, it says, Reva neshamas and neshamas de biya, v'rakhad bedala bedera sarishay neshamas atzilus, o befra bedera say no eila. Watch how the Rebbe changes for the free Yedike Rebbe. The Fidik Rebbe says it's Chad Abedora, but then it says Rishenim. And there's no, 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 every generation. <laughs> Not but it's Chad Abedora, Sha'ol of Eimid Kol Ador. The Rebbe changes the Fidik Rebbe. I have a Gavaldi Kamais. Sha'ol of Eimid Kol Ador. No, see, I don't. But isn't that what, what's the Derech Rishenim? Isn't that the same idea? What's one in general? Dayas and Shaina means a long time ago. It's also one generation. Right, but Dayas is talking about us. So how does that explain the Dayas and the Shaina? He doesn't. The fear of the Kerem is the Dayas and the Shaina. How does that explain? If you read the words of the Pashtas, yeah, the Rebbe spins it and says, Excuse me, Rebbe, what you mean is, <laughs> what you mean is, when I gave the class, I told the story. I think it's a very perfect story for this. Yanka Landa was a chaser of the Rebbe Rashabs. The Friedrich Rebbe and the Rebbe, he had a funny relationship with. The Rebbe asked him to write Zechreinus. Memories that he has from the Rebbe Rashabs of Hashanah and send it. So he must have sent the Rebbe 30 or 40 letters, a lot of letters. I don't know how, but these letters which were sent to the Rebbe, are available. In other words, other people sent to the Rebbe letters, no one even knows what the Rebbe has in the library. So he put him, like from Sheil Brook, we don't even know what they have. But Yankel Landel's letters, which were sent to the Rebbe, we have, and Itchke Gansberg, when he reprinted for Lacan's Spuri, Shmur, 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 he put him in the back of Karach I had them once in Ksav, I had the handwritten versions of it, and I was a fool. When the Sefer came out, I put him in Seamus, I should have saved him. But in those letters, Yankel Landa tells the Rebbe many stories that happened with him and the Rebbe Rashab. He was a bacha still. So he tells the following story. 
It's mamish these words that the Rebbe Rashab said in some kind of a context of a conversation. The Rebbe Rashab tells Yanka Landau there's no neshamas of Atzilus. Now Yanka Landau was very, very disturbed that his Rebbe just said that Heintik did it. Why? Because there's no question in his mind that the Rebbe Rashab is neshamas of Atzilus. But he can't say, Rebbe, Rebbe, you're wrong. <laughs> So he says, He pushes back. In a Rebbe, we have to also resist. So the Rebbe Rashab answers him, in the Shomaz Datsilz and in Doma Dregis. That's the answer. Shomaz Datsilz are different Madregis. In the story. Then the next Shabbos, I don't know when the story happened, the next time there was a meal, there was a minion, the Rebbe Rashab takes the kos, there's the Maimachrenim, the kos, and he gives it to Yankel and the the benching. Yankel Landa always sat by the table. The Rebbe never gave him the bench. He was a bocher. And by the Rebbe Rashab's table, there were all kinds of anashim kshuvim. The Rebbe never gave him bech samazin. That one time, the Rebbe gave bech samazin. And he told the Rebbe in the letter, I understood that this was a yashikeach for objecting to what the Rebbe said. And it's exactly what the Fidik Rebbe says. So our Rebbe is chazin in the feet of the Rebbe's Maimir, and he almost says these words, Anyway, but that's the story. Ah? The Rebbe sat for Shidin and Madregis, but then he gave him the kos. <laughs> Giving him the kos was not because it's Madregis, the Shamas of Atzilus. And let's get through this, okay? The Hine. Reva and Hashemus, most souls now are there in Hashemus de Biyah. Meaning, even though earlier in the Maimed Rebbe brought from the Sefer Mikdash Melech, that according to the Baal Shem Tev, it's possible that Hashemus could be Atzilus, but that's exceptions. The rule is, Reva and Hashemus, Hashemus de Biyah, Verak and only Chad, but daughter one in every generation. But they just said the other generation was Atzilus. So what's the Rebbe's point? The Rebbe's point is, you could call Hashemus Yisrael, Lamata de Tachlis. You hear? You can't call Atzilus Mata Din Tachlis. You can't call Ein Seif Mata Din Tachlis because Ein Zeh Pele that Ein Seif is made in Atzilus. But you could call Neshamis Mata Din Tachlis. In other words, if the Rebbe is going to go through a series of steps in how low it could get, the first step of lowness is Neshamis. There's going to be four steps. The first step of lowness is Neshamis. Neshamas are considered Lamata de Tachlis because they're not Natilus, they're in Bria. Either Neshamas are Atilus, they're Chadbar Dorb Der The average Neshamas is in Bria. Now, the, 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 the fancy way to describe this is as follows. First of all, I'll give you a Tanya word. Yeah? It says in the post of Neir Hashem Nishmasadim, the Jewish souls go better with a candle. Yeah? Which part of a candle? In Tanya, it's the fire. In Tanya, it's the fire. In all the my modern, it's the wick or the oil, or the cup even. Look at the air Hanukkah. It's never the fire. Mm. It's interesting. Tanya twice, Sayin in Chelik Pedikites and Sayin in Pedik Igaz Chur Pedikdalid. Neir Hashem is the fire, is the Eish. In Teir Shmuel Pelach Sidis, Neir Hashem is the Keli. Neir Avay and Nishmas Adam in the my modern is either the fuel or the wick. The white light? No, the, from the fuel the white light comes. From the wick the black light comes. But the neshama is not the, the light. The neshama is the wick and the fuel. That's what you're remembering. So wait. So what's the pshat? It says in the Fetish that most neshamas come from Kalim. Some neshamas, like Rashbi, come from Eir. The neshamas that come from Eir, that's the Chad Vadar of Deris and Rishenim. That's the neshamas that we're not sealers. The rest of us are, we're not Alakos, we're Kalim Felakos. So the fancy way to say neshamis, the way you have it in some Akvav, and the Rebbe brings it many, many times, our Rebbe kochzach in them very much, is alakus shenasa nivra. Alakus shenasa nivra is a dichotomy. It's a paradox. You're either alakus or nivra. You can't be both. Teda is alakus. Mitzvahs are alakus. Malacham are nivra. Elamis are nivra. And the shama is both. And the shama is both alakus and nivra. Two opposites. If you would meet a neshama and put him next to a malach, you wouldn't see the difference. If you would test the neshama and test the malach, the malach would fail the test, the neshama would pass the test because the neshama could reveal koiches that the malach doesn't have. So a neshama on the outside is nivra, on the neshama on the inside is alakus. 
but the neshama as you meet him is nifrod. And that's the pshat, that average neshamas, the way they are in the state of Giloi is nifrod from Elokus. Okay, Ellen is only, I'm reading one more line that I'm stopping. She bibya gufa, bibya itself, hine. Ha neshama is in pnimium, neshama is in the inner dimension, that means bria. Malachim mechitzen, the angels are outside, the elam is in mechitzen, the chitzen is the rasir. Now, so the Rebbe has a whole pilpul on this business of pnimius, and basically what the Rebbe is saying is neshamas are part of lamata adain tachlis, but they're the ones who are the reason why ain't safe nimshech lamata adain tachlis. And since Although on the one hand they're a part of the Matan Tachas, on the other hand, they're the ones who bring the Tevin of Matan Tachas, they have to be Pneumius. That's what the Rebbe said. They have to be Pneumius to be able to bring the Ein Seif into the Matan Adin Tachas. So what the Rebbe does is as well, he starts to pray by saying as they, it's hard to call Elam as Ein Seif, and even Elam Atzilas, the Matan Adin Tachas, because they kill him for El Kuz. But the Shomith, you can work on the Matan Tachas. Now, we're going to stop now. So next Thursday, we're going to learn the end. Here's three more steps. The second step is going to be Kechavim Mazalis. The third step is going to be Klipas, that are forgetting about the Ebesha, Sheikh Madalakus. And the fourth step, and that's going to be the Koch, is Klipas that, that fight against Alakus. And the Lamata, the Tachas goes through all these four steps Nishamis, Kechavim Mazalis, Sheikh Madalakus, and Menagdim Madalakus. And then the next Panic. He's going to say, ain't safe, the mata din tachas, even of these four madregas, including the various lowest ones. Elokus is there, but his pashtus will be gilui. Even by pari, right.